Break those grills out, fire them up. Get ready to do some massive grilling, my friends. Are you looking for a barbecue sauce recipe that's a little bit different than your standard BBQ sauce recipe? Well, hold up. This sticky, tasty barbecue sauce recipe will hit the spot. Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, and we're gonna dive into a delicious BBQ sauce recipe, an Asian barbecue sauce. Buckle up, let's go. Let's go ahead and start off this BBQ sauce recipe, this Asian style recipe, with one shallot, a third of a cup, or roughly about 55 grams. Make sure that you dice it up nice and fine. It's gonna stay in the sauce and we're not gonna blend it up. The next ingredient for this barbecue sauce recipe is fresh ginger. We're gonna use one tablespoon or roughly about 81 grams. Get ready, this is the hardest part of the sauce. We're gonna go ahead and remove that skin, that outer skin of that ginger. Actually folks, it's not too terribly bad. Just grab a spoon, start scraping it off. It's easy as one, two, three. In about a minute, you'll have it all nice and clean. Check it out. Now you could use a knife or you could use a potato peeler. However, I find that the spoon works best. It really just removes that skin and leaves the bulk of the flesh or the meat of that ginger. So check it out. It's nice and fine, looks really good. That's what you're looking for right there. For this homemade BBQ sauce recipe, we're gonna grate up this ginger. We're gonna grate it up nice and fine. It's gonna stay in the sauce. We're not gonna blend it in the ends. We want it to be nice and small. In this Asian style barbecue sauce recipe, it really goes great on wings, goes great over pork. Throw it over some broccoli, throw it over some vegetables, put it over tofu. It's just very well balanced, tastes great, just goes with a wide variety of items. And next up to bat on this wonderful Asian barbecue sauce recipe is garlic. We're gonna use two cloves of garlic. Make sure you give them a little pop on that board. Use the knife, help smash it down. That'll help you to get rid of that skin on the outside. Go ahead and peel it. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grate it as well. We're gonna grate it up nice and fine so that we can get all those wonderful flavors into this fantastic BBQ sauce recipe. Okay, so now you can breathe easy, my friends. The in-house kitchen sauce workout program for the day is complete, the hard part's over. From here on out, it's pretty much just mixing everything up, throwing it together, and going ahead and reducing it down. So, hard part's over, my friends, breathe easy. Now we're gonna go ahead and add pretty much all of the ingredients into a nice mixing bowl. So go ahead and grab a mixing bowl. Let's go ahead and start off this Asian barbecue sauce with the Huisan sauce. Six tablespoons, this is gonna be our main base for this barbecue sauce recipe. Of course, every nice barbecue sauce recipe has a little bit of a zing and a zang, and this zing zang is gonna come from some rice vinegar. We're gonna put in two tablespoons of rice vinegar. And this Asian style barbecue sauce, it is an absolute knockout with shrimp, throw it over some fish. It just really does well with seafood, my friends. It's really absolutely fantastic. And the next ingredient for this Asian barbecue sauce, we're gonna throw in a little bit of fish sauce. We're gonna put in one tablespoon of fish sauce. And the flavor train rolls on, my friends. It's moving on down that line. Next stop, soy sauceville. We're gonna go ahead and put in one tablespoon of regular soy sauce. And now we're gonna throw in a little bit of honey, one tablespoon of honey to counterbalance all of that earthiness, that saltiness from all of the other ingredients. This Asian style barbecue sauce, it is absolutely dynamite as a base. After you've grilled out your swordfish, your shrimp, your steak, your wings, your ribs, whatever it may be, whether it's asparagus, vegetables, tofu, after there's roughly about 10 minutes left, this is a great sauce to start basting it with. And then go ahead and grab the shallots, the garlic, and the ginger that we did a little prep work on at the very beginning. Go ahead and throw them on in, my friends.
So that takes care of the majority of the ingredients. We still have the sugar, which we'll take care of in a second, and the five spice that we'll throw in at the end. We go ahead and give this a little mix, make sure it's well incorporated, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this off to the side. I'm gonna throw everything together. So we're gonna grab a saucepan and a burner, put it over medium heat, grab some brown sugar, and throw it on in. We are going to use one third of a cup of brown sugar or 60 grams, evenly distributed over the bottom of that saucepan and start to melt it down over that medium heat. Now make sure that you do watch the brown sugar. You don't want to burn it. So just keep an eye out on it. If it's a little bit too hot, the heat, you can always reduce it a little bit, but we're really just looking to go ahead and melt it down. You want it to become a nice paste. You could also take that brown sugar and put it in the mixing bowl with the rest of the items and just mix it up all together instead of putting it into the saucepan and melting it down. However, I find that putting it into the saucepan and melting it down, it brings out an extra flavor, it brings out a little bit of smokiness. Now once that brown sugar, it's melted down into a nice paste, go ahead and grab the mixing bowl with all of the other ingredients and go ahead and pour it on in. Now be careful, it will sputter, it will spit, so just make sure that you're careful whenever you pour it in. And don't be scared, whenever you pour that liquid that's in the mixing bowl into that warm saucepan with the sugar, that sugar is going to clump up into a hard ball. Don't worry, that's perfectly normal. You just have to keep on stirring it, it will dissolve. And if it clumps up or lumps up on that spoon, just take something and scrape it off that spoon and you're ready to go. And we are still roughly over low to medium heat here. And we're going to go ahead and reduce this down to about five to eight minutes until it becomes nice and thick. And roughly about halfway through your reduction process, go ahead and grab some five spice. We're gonna put in one eighth of a teaspoon. And then as you can see, it's starting to get really thick. Those bubbles are just slowly popping. It's super thick. It's gonna be sticky. It's gonna be delicious. This Asian style barbecue sauce, it's just gonna stick to any sort of wings, any sort of ribs. Throw it on the fish, throw it on the tofu, throw it on the vegetables, whatever you like. The seafood, the shrimp, oh, oh, oh. this recipe is absolutely fantastic, my friends. And this Asian style barbecue sauce couldn't be any easier, my friends. Just mince a few items, mix a few things in the bowl, melt that sugar down, pour everything together in a saucepan, reduce it for about eight minutes or so, and voila, deliciousness. And then you're ready to take it out and hit that grill. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this Asian barbecue sauce recipe. Please do leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you like sauces and gravies and you want to jump on that flavor train, go ahead and smash that subscribe button on the bottom right hand side of the page. And as always, my friends, remember to live, love, and make gravy.